Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today the question I'm answering is what's in the box in regards to this? This is an expansion for the Adventuria Adventure card game from Ulysses Spiel. This is a non-collectible card game set in the world of the Dark Eye, or Das Was Ard. This is an English translation of a German game. This is a box that I thought was really cool looking. This is actually technically an expansion for the dueling version of the game. So Adventuria is a card game where you play one of four heroes, and you can fight each other, like in other um, dueling style card games, or you can work together and play through cooperative adventures. This adventure is sold as an expansion for the dueling part of the game, but includes stuff you may want even if you only play the adventure game. So there's a little story here I'm not going to go, but what this is is completely new decks. It is a dual expansion for Adventuria, which provides you with enough cards to play every conceivable deck combination from the basic box. So what this really is, is a duplicate set of cards from the original box, in a way. It basically completes the basic set, it gives you some brand new cards, but lets you customize your decks. Because one of the flaws in the original game is, if you are playing with four players and you want to customize your decks, you really can't. And even if you're playing less players, you're going to cannibalize one of the other decks to improve your own. So this fixes that problem. Now, knowing all that, I haven't actually seen what's in this box, so I'm going to put it down on the table, we're going to crack it open, and you're going to get to see what you actually get in Adventuria, Arsenal of Heroes. Here you have it, the Adventuria Arsenal of Heroes box. I am expecting a possible rule book and a bunch of packs of cards. There's the rule book. Ooh, so, oh, new D20s in different colors. Oh, and dice for each character. Awesome. I had no clue those were in here. That's sweet. That's a nice bonus right there. So what do we got? So we have game material and a whole bunch of rule clarifications. Nice. Now I'll get to see if we played our game extreme at all, which we probably have. Um, there's some new uses for fate points, die roll modifications, deck construction, who's the starting player henchman. So a whole bunch of rule clarifications here. Q&A, a nice big Q&A. It's appreciated, always appreciated. We're still doing Q&A. And tournament rules, very cool. Not something I'm going to take advantage of anytime soon, but it's cool to see them. So we have tournament rules for Aventuria. And heroes and variants. So it's different versions of the same characters? Or no, it's more background. So some more background and a different deck. So a different way to put together the dwarf character from the core game. Yeah, so it's different builds. For each of the characters. Very interesting with a bunch of background and story here. So cool. Ways to build your characters different ways and try them out. I dig it. Already more here than I expected. So there we go. We got a fairly nice box insert here. So this is awesome. So we have different colored dice, which I assume... Okay, so this is the yellow die. This has a dodge symbol on the 20. Or no, on the 1. So instead of, normally the game has a, a Aventuria. Oh, I get it. These are different dice for rolling the different things. So this is a die specifically for rolling dodge. This is a die for melee attacks. Look, it's got the melee symbol. This is a die for ranged attacks. Yep, there's the range symbol. Sorry, this is green and I have a green screen on, so it's, it's a magic die that you put a hole in my hand. And then we have a purple one for magic attacks. Oh, I dig that. The one that's slightly disappointing, there's only one set in here, so you'd have to share the dice with the other players. So here you go. D20 dice. Let's see how we roll. What do we got? We got a 7, a 7, a 6, and a 4. Those are fantastic rolls for Aventuria. Aventuria, unlike Dungeons & Dragons, is you want to roll low. I dig it. And then I bet you we have different colored dice for different types of weapons. So yes, we have bow damage die, which is green, so doing weird stuff again. Sorry, I just got to stop grabbing the green stuff. So then we have, I don't know what orange would be. Oh, flail dice. So flail damage dice. So this should be the six? Yes. So the six is a special symbol. Very neat. Then we have, I don't know what we got. Fireball dice. Oh, look at it. Wouldn't you love a ton of those for D&D? Then we have sword dice. And finally, just Aventuria dice, I guess. Cool. Very cool. We have all these D6s. 
Eh, not the best rolls I've ever made. <laughs> On these, you do want to roll high. Dig it. And then we have... So this is for one player. That's what this is. So this is not enough for multiple people to customize their characters. This is one set for one player to get their own unique set of dice for all their attacks. And... Because this is, there's no way this is, um, there are 120 cards in the four hero decks in the base game. There's no way this is 100, maybe that's, a, no, there's no way. This this is maybe as big as two of the decks in the base game. Trying to find the, the special pull it unlock. There it goes. All right. We are going to go through these quickly. Feel free to skip ahead to my final thoughts if you don't want to see every card in this deck. So, I have not seen this myself, but I might have done it. Oh, it is, yeah, so this is the, the Elf's Scout's Bow. So we have the Elf Bow. We have the Elf Scout's Leather Helmet. Maybe we do have all the decks here. It just seems thin. Reconnaissance. So these are all the Elf Scouts. We're going to go through quick. Heavy Flail. Phrygiastus. Still Elf Scout. Yeah, E-S, E-S. Spear Thrower. See, I haven't played this character, so I don't know them. Von Baladin Fencing. Oh, oh, wait, wait. These don't have characters' names. Back up, back up. All right, so those are all L skill cards. But now I have Fencing. I've never seen this before. Oh, this looks good. Fencing gives you plus two endurance for a turn. But if you roll a six, you lose it in a dual game. And then it has its own rules for adventuring. So this is a deck that none of the base characters have. We have two of those, because in a, when building a deck in this game, you can include two of a card. Then we have another brand new card here called Thirst for Knowledge. For every fate you spend, draw an additional card. You may draw one more card. So if you spend fate to draw cards, you can now draw two. So that's a brand new card. Then we have Escape. Discard a fate to re-roll one of your failed dodge rolls. It's a new card. And now we move on to, I don't know the race name, but the Magic User in the base game. So we have the magic user, the magic user, the magic user. So all it is is the unique cards for all the, the classes, not the cards like the pendant that everyone has or carousing, which every character has. So what we have here is all the unique cards for the magic user, including their armor, control power, wrath of the elements. Now we're into the dwarf, who I play, the dwarf uh, blacksmith. And I recognize all these cards. You got the chainmail leggings, the chainmail suit, my favorite warhammer. This is the weapon I use most often. We have the leather shield, the ox herd, which costs so much endurance to come into play, but it's huge. Um, we've got the axe, suddenly gone. Yeah, so these are the unique cards for each of them. High King's document, gangrene, throwing daggers, stunning blow, intimidate. And so on. Now we are moving. Oh, we still have some more. Sorry. More, more. So flip these down quickly. Then we move into the Half Elf Rogues cards. So again, the unique cards for the Half Elf Rogue. So the ones that none of the other characters have. Connection, Hidden Dagger, Taunt, Vigilance, Quilted Circo, Throwing Knife, Treasure Hunt, and so on. So then we have some new cards again. So, stuff we've never seen before. We have the Dark Eye, which is the, the... This is a huge part of the main setting of the game. They're kind of like Palantirs from Lord of the Rings. So we have Dark Eye cards. Again, there should be two, and sure enough, there are two. And we have the Alluring Bait cards. So another brand new card. So, overall, you've got a significant stack of cards here. For a product, I'll admit, I didn't quite understand. So what you have here is really a box for one player. So if you are playing Aventuria the Adventure card game, you would pick up a copy of this box for yourself. And what it does is it gives you a copy of all of the unique cards for all of the characters in the base core game, as well as five new ones, which would let you make any type of deck you'd want. You can use this for deck building to make your character specialized in any way. You also get some custom dice that I guess they are really cool. So these are based on the actual skills in the game. You roll for melee, you roll for ranged, you roll for dodging, and you roll for magic. And then they added some D6s that are unique for different weapon types, which honestly I don't think matter much, but it's still kind of cool. So this will be an interesting one. Now, I haven't actually tried 
doing deck building in Adventuria, but I think this is going to be invaluable because when you play the original game, you would have to um, cannibalize the other decks to be able to make, modify your deck. Like if I take the dwarf's chainmail leggings, well, now the dwarf doesn't have chainmail leggings of their own. So that removes this. But if you were playing with two people, so you still have the argument of who gets the chainmail leggings. So unless you want to buy one of these boxes for every player, you're still limited some way, but I still think this is a way better option than just the base game. Now, the other thing people have talked about is buying a second copy of the base game. I would now no longer recommend that. Just pick this up. I'm sure the price point on this is way cheaper than buying a full copy of the Adventuria card game. So there we have it. Adventuria Arsenal of Heroes. So there you have it. Everything you get in the box for Adventuria Arsenal of Heroes uh, what they consider a dueling expansion for Adventuria, the adventure card game. Though I gotta say, this seems just as valid to me for playing the adventure version, the cooperative version, because you can still customize your decks when playing that way. Deck customization is not a dual only, a, a competitive play only thing. In addition to that, you get some cool stuff I didn't realize was in here, including D6s that are used for each individual type of attack. Very cool, color coded to the type of attack. And damage dice that are specific to weapons. Interesting choice, but it works. Why not? I think it's neat. You get full rules for customizing your characters, as well as alternate builds for every character in the base game, which is really neat. Now, I don't know if you make those alternate builds, if this contents of the box would let you make all four with the core box and only make one of them. That's something I obviously haven't had a chance to check because I just opened this for the first time. The other thing you get is a full set of tournament rules, which is good to know. Not something I'm personally interested in, but if you're into tournament play and making sure everyone's on the same page, those rules are in here as well. Now, what this actually is, is a, a box, that, to me, that is for one player. A, a single player to improve, who wants to get into the deck building aspects of Venturia. But it is a great alternative to picking up a second core set to get two copies of all the cards. Instead, you pick this up and you get a second copy of all the cards. So, that's a cool concept right there. Not quite what I was expecting, but I am impressed by what I saw in this box. I am Mo Tuzno, Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet. Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can go to our webpage, tabletopbellhop.com. Lots of cool gaming content over there. If you dig what you see there and you like this video, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping the bellhop. Also, wherever you happen to be watching this, make sure you hit that like, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, ding the bell, do all that awesome stuff so that it shows your support for us and helps us get this video seen by more people. That's it for me. I have just opened up Aventuria Arsenal of Heroes. Looking forward to using this tonight in my next game of Aventuria. Good night. Whoop, early bell, sorry. Good night and game on. <laughs>